Welcome to our demonstration on how to deploy a virtual machine with storage policies in a vSphere environment using Virtual SAN. VM storage policies let us define the rules for virtual machine storage requirements during a VM deployment. Click on this icon to know the status of VM storage policies in this cluster. By default, VM storage policies are automatically enabled when we create a vSAN cluster. Let us now create a policy for our test and dev environment. Click on the Create New VM Storage Policy icon for the predefined rule sets that we use to create our policy. We can have multiple rule sets to enable alternative selection criteria from multiple vendors when we deploy a VM. Select vSAN for vendor-specific capabilities. There are five capability options available. The first is the number of disk stripes per object. This is a RAID 0 configuration type, and it handles how our files are laid out across the disks. The second option, Flash Read Cache Reservation, lets us reserve a portion of the SSD for our virtual machine read needs. By default, the read caches are distributed evenly across VMs in the host. Number of failures to tolerate is a RAID 1 configuration. It reflects our replication type capability. This rule set helps maintain VM availability by mirroring virtual machine components. Forced provisioning provisions our virtual machine even if the underlying storage cannot meet the policy requirements. When there is a resource scarcity, this helps provision a VM. When the resources become available at a later point in time, the VM is reconfigured to fulfill the policy requirement. Object space reservation lets us reserve a certain amount of disk space up front for our VM. We will set object space reservation to 100% if we want a fully thick disk. By default, vSAN will deploy every virtual machine with a thin configuration. In this example, let us set the number of failures to tolerate. Set it to 1. It could be a host failure, disk, or a network failure. Our test and dev environment will survive the failure. Matching resources means that this vSAN data store matches our policy criteria. We continue by clicking Next and Finish. Our policy is created. We will now deploy a virtual machine with this policy. Go to Actions and select New Virtual Machine. Provide a name for the virtual machine. Verify the compute resource for this virtual machine. Select the policy. You can see that the data stores available are split into two. The compatibility check here has decided that the vSAN data store follows our policy criteria, so it is compatible. The NFS data store, on the other hand, is incompatible. Now let's change the guest OS details. Select Linux family and SUSE Linux. In this example, we are creating a small disk file with just two gigabytes of space. Verify the settings and complete the provisioning by clicking Finish. Our virtual machine has been created. In the Summary tab, we can see the VM storage policy is compliant with the test and dev policy we created earlier. Now if we go to the Manage tab and open VM storage policies and look at the VM's hard disk, we can see the physical disk placement information. Notice there is a RAID 1 configuration created, which is our number of failures to tolerate requirement. You can also see the copy of our virtual machine disk file on a separate host. In the event of a host failure, our virtual machine will continue to run on the other host, where the copy of the disk file is available. This concludes our demonstration on how to deploy a virtual machine with storage policies in a vSphere environment using vSAN. Thank you.